Welcome to our parametric weather insurance presentation. A weather insurance product has covers available for low or deficit rainfall, low temperature, excess rainfall and high temperature. The cover is designed to protect the grower's revenue or profits. We're recommending taking out cover two to three months prior to the risk period. This is a unique and exclusive insurance product only offered by Nutrient Insurance. Today we have Dale Schelling from Hillridge, Sydney to explain the product in more detail and also State Manager for Nutrient Insurance, John Snowball. Thanks very much, Brad. Um, so I'm Dale Schilling, the CEO and co-founder of Hillridge Technology. We've been working with uh, Nutrient Ag Solutions and Marsh to bring this product uh, to Australia. So I'll walk you through a short presentation and then showcase how you can use the system to offset your weather risks on your farm. So the technology that we've developed together with Nutrient Ag Solutions is a weather index insurance platform. So it's a little different from the traditional crop insurance that you might be familiar with. The claim is uh, triggered by an adverse weather event and the payout is based on an independent weather measurement of, of either rain or temperature. So I'll give an example. Here we have a historic weather chart for Wongan Hills from the 1st of August through to the 23rd of October. So what you see on this chart is the cumulative rainfall over that time period. You get to set the threshold and if the cumulative rainfall dips below that threshold, then there's a payout that's either lump sum or incremental in nature. There are four perils that you can get protection against. Low temperature, high temperature, excess rainfall or deficit rainfall. And when you look at the key risks that a broadacre farmer is facing as they go through the season, what we're really looking at is risks around emergence. So you can get deficit rainfall cover to cover that critical period when your seedlings are germinating. Alternatively, you can get excess temperature cover or deficit temperature cover for frosts or heat stress events that affect your yields during flowering. Alternatively, you can get deficit rainfall cover for that critical period around September, October, November, when your grains are filling and that translates into yield. And then finally, you can get protection against the risk of a wet harvest. Um, so you can buy excess rainfall cover that will protect against that downside risk. So I'll give a couple of examples. So let's imagine that you're a farmer at Wongan Hills. You're thinking about how much fertiliser to top up mid-season, but you're worried about that risk. You may not get enough rainfall uh, in the second half of the season. The fertiliser doesn't activate and that investment in fertiliser may be wasted. So what you can do is click on deficit rainfall there. Just type in Wongan Hills. And what we'll see in a few seconds is your farm on the map surrounded by the various uh, weather stations in red and a gridded data set. So you can choose either the weather station or the grid point that you believe best represents the weather on your farm. So I'm going to select Wongan Hills here. Next, I'll choose the cover period. So the period I'm worried about is from the 1st of August through to the 23rd of October. And what we'll see on this chart shortly is that historical uh, rainfall record going back to 1957 when, when Australia first started digitising its weather data collection. So I'm going to set the threshold at 60 millimetres of rain and press confirm cover period and threshold. So there are two payout options. The first is a lump sum. If the cumulative rainfall is at or below that threshold, I get paid a fixed amount. Or alternatively, I can choose payment per millimetre which pays out an incrementally increasing amount for every millimetre below that threshold. So I want to be paid $7,500 per millimetre up to a maximum of 100,000. Press get estimate and within a few seconds I should see a price come up on the screen. So that's 16,750 and if I'm not satisfied with that price I can duplicate the last estimate change any of these input variables, let's say to 55 millimetres, and see what impact that has on price. So I can see here the price is now reduced to 12,300. And I can also test out what if I were to choose 50 millimetres. And there the price reduces to just under $8,000. So the system is quite dynamic. It allows you to test the relationship between the various input factors and the price that you would need to pay for that weather index insurance. And if I'm happy with that, I then save to my dashboard 
I can always come back and view that estimate later. And if I want to proceed, I just press request a quote, fill in a few more details about the asset that I'm insuring, a few details about the counterparty on the insurance documentation and some acknowledgements. And with that, I can get a quote. So let's look at another example of a frost cover. I'm going to click on low temperature here. And let's imagine that we are looking at an example at Bruce Rock. So I can see here a gridded data set. I'm going to choose this grid point as the basis for my low temperature cover. Confirm that measurement point. And the period that I'm worried about here is September. So I choose the 1st of September through to the 30th of September. And the crop that I've got is barley. And so I can see here that temperature record going back to 1957. So barley is a pretty frost tolerant crop, but if it dips below minus 1.5 degrees Celsius, then I might be in trouble. So I'm going to confirm that cover period and threshold. And the amount that I want to be paid is $250,000 because that's how much damage I've suffered in the past. So with that, I can see in a few seconds a price come up on the screen. That's um, $30,900. Um, for a policy that pays $250,000. And if I want to see what impact uh, changing those input variables has, I'm going to reduce that temperature to minus 1.7 degrees Celsius, press calculate estimate, and there I can see a price of 11800 So as you can see, the price is quite sensitive to those input variables. So we do encourage that you speak with your agronomist and you speak with your broker about tailoring a policy that's right for your budget, but right also for your risk management needs. Dale, thanks very much for uh, covering uh, the cropping element of, uh, uh, of this insurance product. I just wonder if there's uh, some broader applications for agriculture, uh, making sure that we cover all um, horticulture, viticulture, grassland, mm -hmm. all those things. Yeah, absolutely. So because um, the thing that's being insured here is the weather, and the impact that the weather has on your agricultural enterprise. Uh, yes, it can be used for broad acre farmers as, as we've spoken about, but it can equally be used um, for livestock farmers, dairy farmers, horticulture, viticulture, any agriculture enterprise that's negatively affected by the weather um, and it can take out this kind of insurance. So we'd really encourage you to speak to your local branch manager, to your local agronomist or your local broker, reach out to Brad or to Ricky um, and I'm sure they can pull together a policy that was, would be suitable for your needs. To all our Nutrient customers out there, we, we hope that this is a, a useful product for you. As I mentioned, we do need to have the insurance quoted and you, you would need to look at two to three months out from your, your cover period to make sure that we get the cover uh, in place on time for the, for the risk. We do have Nutrient insurance staff that are able to help statewide. So Ricky Sands and myself being Brad Gedge, we look forward to speaking to you more about uh, weather insurance. At any time, please, please get in touch. Thank you.